Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use temporary tracking or TK to help you locate points in the space without using sketch line. Let's get started. So we have two examples here so that I could show you how to use temporary tracking. So let's zoom in here first. As you can see, it's identical, but there are missing parts. There are three circle geometry that are missing in the middle. In this image or drawing, it provides the location of the circle from the end point right here so it's 27.94 from this point to that point vertically and horizontally it's 11.12 from this point to this point the radius of the circle is also provided the radius of the biggest circle is 2.91, 1.95, and 0.99 for the smallest. So here, usually what I do before is I click on the line command and create a sketch line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line 27.94 and then another line 11.12. That's not incorrect. But if you notice, you created this line and then after you create the circle, you will need to delete this. So with TK or temporary tracking, you don't need to have to delete those lines. Let me show you. So I'm going to press escape first. And then I'm going to click circle. So once I click the circle, I'm going to type in T and then K and then press enter. Once I do that, it will ask me for the first tracking point. So I'm going to click here because this is our endpoint that the dimension was referenced. So I'm going to use this. And then I'm going to put in 27.94 and then enter. It will then ask for the next point. So I'm going to go on the right and then not on the left. So I'm going to move it a little bit on the right and then I'm going to enter 11.12 and then enter. Now, as you can see, we have the circle or the middle of the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter to end the tracking. Once I do that, I can now create the circle. So I'm going to create the biggest circle first. It will be 2.91 and then enter. So now that we have a circle, we can immediately create the other circle. So I'm going to press the space bar. And then click on the middle. And then I'm going to put 
press the space bar again click in the middle and then put in 0.99 and then enter next example so here we have a door and then the location of the doorknob it is 48 vertically and then horizontally it's 3.17 from the middle to the edge and then we have a radius of 2.82 for the bigger circle and 1.75 for the smaller circle that represents the doorknob so now let's press circle again and then type in tk and then enter it will ask you for the first tracking point this will be the end point that we're gonna start with so I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna move it upwards so this will be 48 and then enter it will ask for the second tracking point it will be on the left side and then we're going to type in 3.17 and then enter and then we're just going to press enter because we're going to end the tracking now because we have this the location let's create the first circle, the bigger one, 2.82, and then enter. And then press the space bar. And then click on the middle and type in 1.75. And then enter. So... Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.